What up guys? So for 2021, racing's still all over the place, but uh, we are bringing you non-step content. Um, one a week, man, <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot of work bringing you these videos once a week, but today, gonna take you kind of behind the scenes of uh, our 2021 photo shoot. We're announcing our partnership with NOS Energy Drink today, so super stoked on that, super stoked to bring those guys on board. Uh, Daniel's gonna be doing the photo shoot, so I'm on camera duty today. Bear with me, I'm learning. Um, straight iPhone shooting from the hip right now. So like I said, bear with me. Already a rough start to the day for me. Um, just trying to make some coffee this morning. I cut my finger on a coffee cup. I don't even ask how it happened. We're actually doing uh, today's shoot at uh, Riverside Airport at the Walker Evans Racing Hangar. So kind of give you guys a a cool inside look of um, what goes down behind the scenes at Walker Evans. Um, damn it, I can't reach. Daniel trying to yeah. work a video camera. His assistant not doing much. And Ronnie's our light guy. The backup assistant. <laughs> you wanna get some yellow? We can get oh, some yellow. Yellow looks nice. Oh, now we're going back to teal. Oh, oh. dude, teal's pretty fun. Yeah, racy. Teal pretty Excuse me pretty spicy well we got all this technology airplanes and uh guard dog. yeah we obviously got a guard dog and this is how we uh this is how we play music <laughs> uh rockford's not gonna be pumped on this performance boys not at all Oh, oh yeah! Oh. Yeah, now we're cooking with the gas. That's exactly what we want. Yeah, but both of them. But you got two rainbows and four strawberry sherberts. Yeah, how come they're oh, now, now we're all synced up? They weren't all synced up. That was weird. Oh, yeah. How's it look to the camera, man? Yeah, it looks the same as out of the camera. It just uh, puts it in a frame, you know? Like, I got this box to work with. I'm working with the box. Oh, I see you're saying you're zoomed in. I'm like, in the box. You're zoomed in, let me, let me see if I can get it there. Is that what kind of box you're looking at? I'll tell you what though, I think my filming skills are going better than your light working skills. Yeah, I don't know. You got a spasm in there. You gotta see it on the ground, but. That one's good. All the other 69 of them are good, but. This one's just not getting along with the game. I don't know what's going on there. Yeah. Yeah, that normally works if you just tap it a couple times and maybe hit it with a hammer. You just never know it'll fix it. Yeah, it's still broken. Light guy. First time light guy. First time light guy. Um, I got it on the one color static here, as you can see. We're on the teal, teal option, and uh, random strobe slow, <laughs> nice and slow. We can speed it up to medium, or maybe we're fast. Yeah. Yep. Go. I can use an intern, as you see I got a lot of stuff set up, so please DM me. Oh, he's looking for an intern. Looking for an intern. Preferably free. Uh, five foot three. Five foot three. Blonde hair, brunette hair, doesn't matter. I can't answer that question. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 
we'll, cu- we'll cut that out. <laughs> well, now that we're done with Daniel and his awkward cameraness, we're moving on to the plane. What kind of plane is this? I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. No idea. Do you know? Uh, yeah, I do, but I forgot I'm on the spot right now. Yeah, it's hard on the spot. Yeah. I do know also, but I don't. I don't know what the name is really. Starts with a C. I'm pretty sure. Conquest. Conquest. Yeah. yeah nice oh, work. Right, nice work. Tag it's con- team. It's it. a conquest. Yeah. Walker's old class eight, still runs, I believe. We should get out there in that thing. I <laughs> no. think. <laughs> Maybe the KOH Desert Race. Uh. Oh, it's actually got real shocks on it now. Really? Well, kind of. Real shocks, as in like. Check out the lug nuts on that thing. Oh yeah. So this is how they used to go across the desert and win Baja 1000s. I think this thing's won two Baja 1000s. And you put the wheels on with a hammer. <laughs> no. All of them. One lug nut warriors right here. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. This thing used to have 16 shocks on it. They just kept putting more shocks on <laughs> yeah. until it worked better. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't fix them, just more shocks, more better. Stiffer, out of shock. Softer, lose one. Uh, the Jeep. Uh, don't know anything about this. Yeah, I don't know either. Okay. I think it's for sale. Oh, it's for sale if anyone's interested. Um, take it out to Hammertown. I think it's too nice. Yeah, it's I think exactly. it's too nice. Like, it's if you drag it on the rocks, just too nice of a Jeep. Yeah. More of a street queen, I think. All right, we got Walker's Razor. Four seater, two seater, windshield. This is the Legends ride. <laughs> I don't know why, but it, old school guys like Walker, why do they not like headrests? And why do they use these seats? <laughs> this is. Like, he probably has to go to their warehouse and, like, dig through the dusty stuff to find these seats. <laughs> I think he just had them in stock from over the years. Like, he probably pulled these out of his old race cars or something. Oh, uh, yeah, like, they don't even... Uh, whatever. Good for him. Extra suspension, I guess. <laughs> yeah. You got a 2020 technology Razor and 1974 technology seats. <laughs> <laughs> like, look at when you're driving. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, this is just a strap holding your seatbelts through. He's got a compressor and stuff back here. He's got a sweet bag. Oh, that's for his crown royal for sure. <laughs> Definitely for his crown. <laughs> uh, he's um, got another one right here. That'd be funny if there was crown royal in it. He's got three. Oh, and a fanny pack deal. Yeah. What's in that one? Uh, there looks like some air hoses, maybe oh. for his compressor. Yep. Another trick is, doesn't he have a bottle opener on this thing? Mm. Oh, I thought he had a bottle opener on it, but. That'd be cool though. Yeah. So, what do you think, Nixon? Nixon keeps an eye on things around here. And then we got this thing. My Ultra 4 King of the Hammers ride. We are gonna do our best work to bring this to King of the Hammers, but uh, if you guys have any weight with Hot Randy, please give him a call. So <laughs> please let us know. Call Hot Randy or call Phyllis and ask if we could take this to Hammers. It needs to make a reappearance yeah. for sure. I like how simple graphics were back in the days. Like, what stickers do we got in stock? All oh, the Bowser Craft's a little big. We'll just put it put at it, an angle. And put it right on top of the old Dynatrack. Yeah. Barely fits right there. Oh, it didn't fit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So I don't even know. I don't know enough about rock crawlers, but. There's way too many levers for me to figure out. For sure. I'd say just start grabbing all of them and you'll figure it out. Yeah. Oh man, it had a little bit of a situation, but we're not gonna go into detail on that. Yeah, some broken bolts will be back out there in no time. Yeah, turbocharged. I think this was, my dad built this for Walker's last last competition crawler. Um, I couldn't tell you the year. Uh, Probably early 2000s, yeah, he was like two. 2001, yeah, 2002, I don't You're know. You're probably two? Yeah, probably two. All right. Oh, what was this? We got the faux two. Yeah, the faux two. It's it the hung. Faux t- Where did it hang from? Uh, it was like a hard rock or something. Yeah, hard rock. Um, our dad built it, and uh, it's super lightweight. It was just meant to hang in like a restaurant or a hotel. So yeah, everything it's all, in it's, it's all muffler tubing. Yeah. The whole engine is styrofoam. I don't know how they did that. Oh, that's a fake engine. So pretty cool. Yeah, you can kind of see that the block's styrofoam. If you look closely. Um. Yeah, just single lightweight shocks. Um, I don't know how much it weighs, but it was just purposely built to look like Walker's Pro 2 back in the day. But it never drove. 
Obviously everything's fake, all muffler tubing, um, super, super thin stuff, plexiglass. Pretty cool though, looks like an old school Pro 2, so it did its job. Then here, Walker's newest toy. This thing's bad. <laughs> this thing is bad. Old Ram Charger. This is what they used to, I believe they are only pre-runners back in the day. Yeah, just pre-runners. Um, I don't know enough history, this is even, this was before my time. Um, but Michael Gaughan has one of them, and he's raced Nora a couple times, and now uh, Walker bought back the other one. There's only two of these that they made, um, and now they're both in their possession. So Mr. Gaughan from South Point owns one, and now Walker just got this one back last week. So somehow this is going to end up in my shop. <laughs> uh, we're going to do some swap. updates to it and put an LS7 in it, so uh, that'll be pretty cool when it's done. I'm pretty stoked on, on this this girl it'll be a cool project and then walker's og f100 <laughs> which has also been to our shop og this was his first race car right yeah pretty wild i think it's like a 71 ford bench but... seat stock steering wheel yep so walker's very first race truck it's gotten redone obviously um went to our shop for some upgrades at some point um yeah pretty rad i think it's i think it he drives it every once in a while now. Yeah, I, I think it drives. I'm not positive, but... Okay, there's one vehicle left, dude. You can't forget the most important one. It's upstairs. Oh! Don't make it the most important one. Dude, it is. It's yours, dude. It's just, the most important one, no, dude. Look just because it's yours, dude, doesn't mean it's the most important oh, one. Oh, you're right. This Come other on. stuff pretty much stunts on it. What year did you win? Championship uh, 2011. In well, I was 11 years old. You're 11 years old. 2000, baby. Oh, damn. Look at this thing. This is honestly still my favorite short course Dude, racer. it's bad. This thing's so bad. Motag. Like, stand next to it so people can see how low it is. <laughs> That's how small this thing was. So she used to get down way ahead of its time. It doesn't Our even course. have seat bolts in it. <laughs> Seat's so low you couldn't even put seat bolts in it. Oh, they never even caught me riding dirty. No. Um, Mark Holtz built this. Actually, what's crazy is it was originally built as an 800. So it had uh, A-arms in the back. Um, I think it was built in 2010? Yeah, I think 2009, 2010. And then right. it got crashed, and that's when the XP900 came out in 2011. And then it got back halved, and now it's all XP900 rear suspension. So um, the main cab started as an 800, then it got back halved. I feel like I'm messing up all these shots, but... <laughs> first time vlogger. Yeah, first time vlogger. Yeah, My arm's happen. getting tired. I don't have a good place to hang on. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, pretty wild. This is a pretty rad little car. You can't hold it on the camera, man. Full yeah. Pipe tired. down down there. You drive a full four. Odelay. Yeah, with two hands. For a via. <laughs> um, yeah, all crazy how small the shocks used to be. All, all the parts on this thing are so small. Little baby diff. Um, like you said. Oh, it's bolted in, dude! No way, no way dude. I didn't even think those bolts went in. It's not real. So pretty wild. Uh, it's all MoTeC. Hey, it's still recording, right? Yeah, it's still recording. I'm not that dumb. Um, so yeah, I won the 2011 Luke Sold Championship with it. Uh, so the thing about the seat was, on the old 800 motors, we had them cranked to the max. And the motor actually used to be in here uh, this way. So the clutches, instead of being over here where you can get to the belt, were against the firewall up there. So we would have the, we would blow up so many motors. We would have the seat not bolted in. So when we pulled in, we'd pull the seat up. We could take the clutches off, change the motor. We could change the motor in like 25 minutes in this thing. Yeah, it was pretty insane. Yeah, great, great times. He would uh, he'd probably blow up three or four motors. My record was four in one weekend. Yeah. I think I only hit the track five times. Well, I think one of them blew up when it was warming up. Yeah, one of them blew up in the pits. I do remember. Yeah. Not our best of times, but pretty rad. So, yeah, that's the hangar goals. One day, have something like this. Oh, we didn't even get the helicopter outside. We'll, we'll make a trip down, out there we'll next. Go down there and make a trip down there. Yeah. We made it outside to the helicopter. Yeah, we forgot one more vehicle. Yeah, we yeah minor setback really. Oh, you're kind of dark. A little dark. Yeah. It's shadowy out here, dude. We're not in the. I don't, the I nice don't know how to adjust these settings, but. Maybe do we need to go over here to the sun? Yeah. So here's the heli. 
Jet Ranger. RJ attempt to fly this for a while. Yeah. Then he I just, he gave up. I got like 50 hours, dude. I could probably I could probably get her out of here right now. I'd be a little sketchy landing. Yeah. But it's a small pad to land on in that thing. Yeah. You just land her on the ground and have someone else get it on the pad. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, hey point. Josh, uh, yeah. I just took the heli for a rip. Can you come put her on the pad so we can put her back away? Thanks. Yeah, we can't uh, forget about my personal favorite vehicle in here, the John Deere. Oh yeah, that, that thing, tows it around. That thing gets down. Yeah. Um, Stronghold actually uses this now. You probably see it if you go to any Best in the Desert or score races. Stronghold uses it to uh, chase their trophy truck in Class One around. Um, Stronghold actually has those two hangers next to us, so they're our uh, our hanger neighbor. Hanger neighbors. Hanger neighbor. But yeah. Jet Ranger, I, I think it's like an 82, 1982. She's an 82, but she cleans up good. Just your basic stuff. She's a pretty clean ride. Um, I wish I had more time because that was my end goal. One day when I retire, I'm gonna be a helicopter mechanic, or not mechanic. Mechanic? No, you oh, can be a mechanic, like I'm gonna not. be a pilot. Yeah. I got distracted. Nixon, get over here. Come here. It's fine. <laughs> Licking the field truck guy's leg. Nixon, come on. Come here. God damn it. Come here. You're going to get us in trouble, dude. It's maybe a downer you got. Did you, did you radio the tower? That was not an approved move. Yeah. He knew we were doing a photo shoot, so dressed up. Come on. Don't talk to that guy. All right. Well, that's a wrap. Walker Evans Racing Hangar. Well, that's a wrap here. Uh, stoked on how Ronnie's King of the Hammers car came out. I'm stoked to team up with him for the race too. So it's going to be fun. My guys put in a lot of work to it. So I think we're prepared this year. We're going to give it give it all we got for sure. Yeah, definitely. Really exciting to see it all come together. And uh, like you said, all the guys put in a lot of work on the car. So super cool to see how it turned out. And uh, super cool, super pumped on our new sponsors as well. Yeah, thank you, Nas, for joining the program. Uh, it's going to be a rad year. We got a lot of cool stuff planned. So uh, make sure. Let us know in the comments what you think of the new build, what, what the car looks like, and uh, like and subscribe to the video because we got a lot more coming.